So today is the day we're harvesting the pigs. We've already had to do a lot of prep work to get stuff ready. We had to fix the gate because it wasn't working the way we wanted to. So right here's the gate for the pigs and it swings inward. And last year we actually had a couple other little fences that we used to set right here in front of the gate. So we could open it a bit, let one into the fenced area, and while he was eating, we would uh, harvest them. So we don't have those fences anymore, so we gotta figure out something else similar to that and make something work so we can let one out at a time. So for tomorrow, what we've done is we've kind of set up this little chute. Uh, we stuck a post at the other end just to kind of hold that end together. We can open the door, let one pig come in and drop a bucket of milk or feed right there and then be able to uh, shoot them. This will allow us to, to quickly move that out of the way and get right at them. So I think this is gonna work well. We kind of did a similar thing last year. It, it works better for us than trying to shoot them in the enclosure and then go in and try and get them out. So this is, this is what we have. I think we're gonna have to come up with something better for next year, but uh, this'll do. One of the things we've been doing nonstop too is pulling dirt in and out of their pen because it's such a disaster. So one of the things we've been doing is almost every week we've had to take some of the sand out of their pen and the dirt out of their pen and replace it with dry stuff. They spill their water, they go to the washroom, it rains and it just builds up in this big mud puddle and it's right by the gate too. So we need to get this dry, especially to make it easier for us to harvest them. I think we have some final preps left to do and then we'll get started. So we've basically got everything ready to go. We're just waiting for the water to heat up now so we can uh, basically scald and clean the outside. We've got the flamethrower so we'll take all the hair off with the flamethrower but it's nice to have the hot water just to clean everything off. Okay so the first guy didn't go exactly as planned. He got out into the cow paddock and we had to shoot them there and then go out and get them. But uh, it was a good shot when he dropped instantly. So I'm really thankful for that. So we got the first one all done. Now we'll get him downstairs into the cool box cooler. And then probably next weekend we'll start the butchering process for him. Our only problem right now is we've got eight hooks downstairs and we've got eight pigs. So we're trying to figure out right now how to put one pig on two hooks, even though he's on, or one pig, one pig in two parts on one hook. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay guys, so we got the first pig in and we still have seven to go. It's gonna be a long weekend. Heading out to do the second pig. Lessons learned on the first pig. And uh, this one should go a lot better. Say again. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so number two is done. Now just get him down into the uh, cold room and that's gonna be it for today. And then it's going to be cold beer. Well deserved cold beer. So mostly all cleaned up from the day. It's been a long day. We're tired. It's definitely time for beer and hot tub. We're going to leave basically everything out for tomorrow. We're going to try and continue tomorrow. Do some more. Try and get lots more done. We'll see how it goes. So uh, I hope you guys found this interesting. Hope you learned a bit from our mistakes and uh, 
can improve on that for your own ventures and uh, your own pig harvesting and raising and that sort of thing. So we'll talk to you soon, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, the like, and be sure to leave us a comment. We really appreciate that. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Love ya.